So we're here today, Friday, at the 35th annual Magnolia Library Art Show. We're interviewing Susie Fields. She has a couple of portraits, paintings, and she has painted here for, or has displayed for seven or eight years. Right. And Susie would like to tell us something about this. About this? Beautiful okay. piece of artwork. Well, I love painting. I love landscapes. I love painting landscapes. And this is um, Appleton Farm. Uh, this is a, a farmer's house on Appleton Farm. And um, where I go, we go, um, my husband and I go walking um, every, at least twice a month or three, you know, week on weekends. And I just love the view. It could be anywhere in New England. And, um, and I love um, I love landscape painting. That's what I've always done is landscape painting. I also do portrait painting. Actually, I love both of them. Mm -hmm. So, and so this is this is a water that, acrylic. That's a, that's an acrylic painting. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. And then this one over here is a marsh painting of um, ag again another acrylic painting of the Kennebec River actually, Where? and um, in, that is in Maine. Yeah, correct. Where in Maine? It's in, um, the Kennebec flows, I think, by, is it Bath? And then comes out, it's, it's south of Bath. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I hope I'm right on that river. I think that's the name of it. Is it the Kennebec? Yeah, Kennebec is the river. The one that, yeah, yeah. 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 that's so good. And the Scoggin as well. Yeah. The Kennebec. Yeah. So further north. And, and I love painting, the, I, I love painting marshes and um, generally landscapes. You know, I do. I paint a lot on the Essex River. I, uh -huh. I have a. Um, I love to paint the marshes in the in the Hog Island and views of the. So I paint there an awful lot. Uh -huh. I find actually Gloucester is. I painted so many um, wonderful views in Gloucester, but it's getting the views are to me fairly small, and I like a, I like a broader view. Uh -huh. So Appleton Farms is a few hundred acres, so I, I like the broadness of the right. possibilities there. And this is, you know, very big. So. And I understand you have some of your students. You teach. I have, yeah. A few of my students have won prizes here tonight, and um, I teach. I've been teaching art in Gloucester for eight years, year round. Uh huh. And where, where do you have your? I have classes at uh, the uh, St. John's Parish Hall on Middle Street. And um, some of my students have been with me for eight years, and I have uh, a large class, and uh, we go all over. We go in the summer, we go out and paint on locate. I teach uh, oil, watercolor, and, and acrylic. And we go out uh, into, we, go, we have friends all over, and we, we go to Annisquam and Lanesville and mm -hmm. Ipswich and um, Essex every Monday afternoon and paint all afternoon and, oh, and um, in the winter we paint in the parish hall at St. John's Church mm -hmm. and um, and I encourage people to uh, to paint the, with their own style and just to, I encourage them you know I don't ever expect anyone to paint like me just to, to have people I encourage them to use their own um, their own palette and ideas and um, and that's how I teach it's Great. not it's not didactic teaching right. it's express yourself teaching Thanks. yeah well thank you for your time you're Susie. welcome thank you that was fun it's okay no problem so we're here interviewing Chris Monroe who has a number of water acrylic no these are these oil are oil okay mm -hmm. And we're here at the Magnolia Library 35th Annual Magnolia Library Art Show. So, Chris, if you would like to explain the detail and how you came about getting into art. Well, I actually started out with watercolor, painting watercolor. Uh -huh. And after several years with watercolor, I wanted to change, so I went to the oil. Uh -huh. But I still, I paint on location and areas that I really, you know, like, and this is downtown Rockport. I'm in Rockport for the summer, so I do a lot of Rockport scenes. Mm -hmm. um, this is in um, Amesbury. Yeah. Beautiful. And um, did some, I have some lobster boat paintings here. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, I paint what, you know, what I love, scenes that yeah. I yeah. like yeah. 
how many years have you displayed here at the Mega Library? Oh, several years. Um, I think, gee, I, I don't know, maybe uh, eight years or so. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. So. They're happy with the Magnolia Library Art Show? Oh, they okay. do a great job. Yeah. They always Good. do it's such a wonderful Good. job. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. They're, you know, the way they hang the show and oh, everything they do for the reception is lovely. Uh -huh. They do a great job. Yeah. So. Terrific. Terrific. Now, in, in a piece of artwork like this, as far as time, many, many uh, hours. I usually, no, I usually go out on location and do it in a day. I, uh -huh get excited with what I'm doing so I hate to stop right, right, right. <laughs> so I usually just you know try to finish it up and if I don't finish it up it might be just some details or something uh -huh. that I'll do the next day and go back and just put some finishing touches yeah, yeah, yeah. now do you teach art at all or? I don't teach art no um, maybe someday Some but days. I don't right now so just enjoy it for myself it's a nice nice release well thank you for your time Chris thank you and Scott Mulcahy at the 35th annual Magnolia Library Art Show and Scott has uh, this beautiful display maybe you can explain exactly what we have here Scott you want me to take the mic here? Go right ahead. <laughs> uh, well we have a fully functional double bird house here uh, made out of reclaimed wood um, it started with an iron and board um, that's how, what gave me the triangular shape um, it's called the daily grind uh, these are life veins. This could be a row house or a house you purchase. Uh, you struggle daily to get there, to maintain it. And then the vines go beyond the house and split the house in half and strive beyond. So you're not satisfied with this once you get through all that. That was the basic concept. Um, Kind of became an obsession after a while. Um, I did. I'm a woodworker by trade. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Thirty year cabinet maker. So I wanted. I started with the base. Wanted to make that really nice, the foundation, and then kind of after that it was reclaimed wood and mm, chaotic, more conceptual telling the story mm -hmm. so um, um, I, I love to put these little elements on um, even the little rocks and the, the old hundred year old string and it, it's just all these little elements that I that have character before I even get to it mm -hmm. so I can't lose mm -hmm. basically so that's my theory behind it now, do you have <laughs> a studio any place that you display a I don't have a studio. I have a website, artfulchairs.com, with my chairs, and that's where I do my art. I see. Um, this is kind of new field for me. I my my chairs are very sculptural and functional, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to push the envelope and create more sculptural, non-functional. Even though this bird house is functional. Mm -hmm just so I don't have to hide behind the functionality of something mm -hmm. and just kind of have more fun with it see where I can go with it mm -hmm. so I'm going towards pure sculpture sure. Perfect. but I want to do more birdhouses for sure because this is so cool and I had a blast and I want to do more mm -hmm. so uh, this is the beginning of something Excellent. I don't know how long it's going to last but Terrific. I'll make sure I won't submit one next year I'll Come up with something different next year. Okay. But it was an honor getting best of show Excellent. by the judges, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of talent here, and I'm humbled by this. Yeah. This is excellent. Appreciate that for sure. Well, we appreciate so. you participating in this 35th annual Magnolia Library. Right. Well, thank you. Right. Thank you for uh, excellent. <laughs> Who won second place with her June sunset? It's an oil <laughs> painting. Um, how long have you been painting, Elizabeth? About probably seriously five years. Oh, it's terrific. It's a beautiful painting. Thank you. So obviously you enjoy. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. Why don't you tell us something about your creation? Uh, well, one night I saw this stunning sunset, so I drove over to the North Shore Art Association parking lot uh -huh. and 
drew it out, took pictures of it, and then sketched it out on the canvas and went back another night to work on it some more. Terrific. And you've got City Hall in the background. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Okay. Excellent. When did you paint that? How long um, ago? Three weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Three weeks, Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Wow. And, Recent. and then again another weekend, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow, that's beautiful. And you have other paintings here? I do. I have the sunset over there. Uh-huh. And um, and a little painting over there. Okay, is this the first time you've displayed here? No, last Illinois year Library? I also did. Oh good. Do you display at many art shows? Or? Um at the bookstore I have paintings hanging right now. Mm-hmm. And I had paintings several times at the Lone Gull. Mm -hmm. I have a painting at the Annis Palm Exchange mm -hmm. right now. Sure. It's uh, about all I can think of at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's great. Well, we appreciate your time, Elizabeth, Thank and you congrats, very much. congratulations on your award. Thank you. So we're here at Magnolia Library, Saving Cape Ann, on Scene on Channel 12. Greg has a has a show on the local access channel. Oh, seen great. three times a week. Okay. Yes. So we're here interviewing Bonnie Malcolm at the Magnolia Library, and she has three creations. Um, Bonnie, if you'd like, you can tell us a little something about them. Well, this this is a wall hanging made out of stoneware, uh -huh. and most people seem to think it's wood, or they Beautiful. think it's a turtle, yep. <laughs> but it's really an abstract. Uh -huh. And uh, these are garden. This is a garden sculpture that can go outside uh, all year long because of the kind of uh, clay it's made. Okay. Uh, but this one can't go outside because it has glaze and the freezing thawing right, would make right, it right. crack. It wouldn't do very well. no, no, it wouldn't work. So I always think it's a real bother for people to have to take something in and out in the fall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that with this, they can just forget it and it'll be out in their garden, mm -hmm. look the same the next time. Sure. So, How long have you uh, been making creations such as this? Oh, since I was a very, very young child. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Congratulations uh, on your award. Thank you. Have you been displaying here at the Magnolia Library long? Yes, years? I've been here uh, like quite a few years. Yeah. And I actually won first prize one year. <laughs> oh, congratulations. So, yeah, I've, I've been in, uh, I enjoy showing here. It's, uh, I also exhibit at the Newbury Park Art Association uh -huh. fairly regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I like the local shows. Yeah, great, yeah. great. Uh, well, thank you for your time, Bonnie. Oh, thank you. You're welcome.